Hi everyone, I am hopeful that all you will be fine. In this session, I will show you what options you have regarding the meeting joining security that you can enable when you are going to create a meeting using the Zoom Rest API. Okay, so regarding the meeting security, you have uh, three different type of options you can set or configure inside the payload when you are going to schedule or create the meeting using the Zoom Rest API. Okay, so one is a password and other is a waiting room and third one is a meeting authentication. For the password, security related you have a two different type of a fields you can say it inside the payload one is a default password inside that you can enable or disable auto generation password if you are interested auto generate a password by the zoom rest api then you need to enable or disable that functionality or feature by setting default password feature to true or false if you are interested to create a customized password then you need to set the password field the value string of your choice password or customized password so inside the password value, you can set the max 10 characters long password and that password will be have alphanumeric and a special symbol also. You can set those, okay? But if the account owner or admin have a set some kind of password creation rules, then you must be follow those rules when you are going to create a custom password inside the meeting payload when you are scheduling the meeting using the Zoom Rest API. And if you have enabled default password also and you have set it, the customized password also inside the payload, then the password priority will be high and Zoom REST API will pick your password field and will ignore the default password field, okay? So the priority of the custom password will be high, okay? And default password will be ignored. And you can also enable or disable the waiting room by setting value true or false. So if you are interested to enable the waiting room, then you need to set this field to true. And if you are interested to disable that, then you need to set here false. Okay. You can also enable or disable meeting authentication by setting value true or false. And if you are interested to disable all the options, that means you are interested to create a passwordless meeting and you are also interested to disable the waiting room and you are also interested to disable the meeting authentication. That means you are setting default password field to false and also you are setting waiting room false and you are also setting meeting authentication to false, okay? At that time, Zoom will prioritize from the waiting room and from the meeting authentication field as per your user settings, okay? That if the user have not enabled the meeting authentication, okay, globally on their account, then the waiting room will be by defaultically enabled in the response. Uh, either you have disabled that inside the payload. That means concurrently you cannot disable all three options at the same time. You can only disable max two options inside the payload at the same time, okay? And regarding the priority of the auto setting or auto enabling, which feature will be totally decided by the user setting. So now let's see that thing in action from the postman. So I have already started the API. We first need to authorize. So here we say localhost API zoom authorize. And now let's open the postman. And inside the learn with Nay collection, we have a Zoom create meeting request. So here we are setting the default password first. So we say default password to true and send the request. And inside the response, you have a password, okay? And it is an auto generate password. And now let's set the default password true. And also we can set the password, which have a customized password. So we are setting ABC123 and send the request. And you will see, we have a customized password and the default password field is ignored. The priority of password field is high. And now let's disable the password. Okay. So we said false here and we first need to check the waiting room. And here you can see waiting room is disabled in the previous response and the meeting authentication is also disabled. Okay. And we are also interested to disable the password. And inside the response, you can see the waiting room is automatically enabled and you will see here meeting authentication is disabled because their meeting authentication is globally disabled inside the user setting that's why this option priority is less if the meeting authentication is enabled from the user settings then by defaultically the priority of meeting authentication field will be high and in the response you will get a meeting authentication enabled we will see that thing in action right now okay so now let's disable the waiting room from the payload so we say waiting room and we say false and we need to send the request so you can see it's still waiting room is true okay so this value is going to be ignored because at least one meeting joining security related option or feature must be enabled so that's why zoom 
highly prioritizing waiting room now let's say in the meeting authentication to false also and send the request you will see that the priority of waiting room is high and waiting room is by default enabled because the meeting authentication setting is disabled we can also see that user settings inside the zoom api we have the user settings request now send the request i have apply the custom query field with the authentication options and inside the authentication option section inside the meeting authentication we have a meeting authentication disabled so that's why the priority of waiting room is high and it is uh, enabled in the response now let's enable the waiting room and then we will see that which option have a high priority when we are sending these three fields with a value false now first update the user setting and we are setting here meeting authentication to send the request and see that we have enabled that you can see in the response meeting authentication true now send the request you can see waiting room is disabled the priority of waiting room is low and the meeting authentication priority is high you can see the meeting authentication is true and at the same time you cannot enable or disable these two options you can enable the meeting authentication either you can enable the waiting room so if if you can say it here true then by defaultically the meeting authentication will be enabled and waiting room will be disabled because globally on the user setting the meeting authentication is enabled you can see that thing so in the response you can see the waiting room it is not enabled now you can set the password also to and send that request so you can see inside the payload we have a password okay so from these bottom two fields uh, from the waiting room and meeting authentication you can only enable one feature at the same time and if you have uh, enabled the meeting authentication then you can also use the password or default password okay you have seen that how actually we can create a passwordless meeting by setting the password default password field to false and we are not setting the password field inside the payload and particularly there will be a no password inside the response so you can see here also once again so in the response you do not have a password so as you can see inside the response we do not have a password this is a passwordless meeting but for the authentication the meeting authentication is enabled and the meeting authentication will be applied what options you have set it inside the user settings inside the user settings you can see here we have authentication options and by default this user have a signed into zoom authentication option so i am hopeful that you have enjoyed the session if you have any queries regarding this session then just please place your queries inside the video comment section either you can share your queries and suggestions by my shared contact details take care bye bye